To start off the pattern, trace your dartless bodice on your pattern paper. By the way, I have a separate tutorial for dartless bodice and I will put the link up here. From the waistline, mark down 2 inches or 5 centimeters. Square align and disregard the excess. From shoulder tip, mark in 1.5 inches or 3.75 centimeters. From this mark, measure out 3.5 inches or 8.75 centimeters and mark. And extend the shoulder line towards the mark creating a new shoulder line. From armhole at chest line, mark in 1.5 inches or 3.75 centimeters. Square a diagonal line from new shoulder line to the mark at chest line. From underarm seam, mark down 1.5 inches or 3.75 centimeters. From this mark, redraw the armhole hitting the diagonal line at armhole. From the new underarm seam, mark out 4 eighths of an inch or 1.2 centimeters. From this mark, square down a line to create a new side seam. From the tip of new shoulder line, mark down 4 eighths of an inch or 1.2 centimeters. From this mark, draw a semi curved line blending in with the previous line. From the first mark at shoulder, mark out 1.5 inches or 3.75 centimeters. From the front neckline, mark down 2 inches or 5 centimeters. Next, connect both marks, creating a front scoop neckline. And connect the shoulder mark to the previous front neckline and this is for the back neckline for the camisa. This is the back neckline and the front neckline for the camisa. Next, measure the new armhole and record. Mind you that my measurement will be different from yours. From the new waistline, mark down 1.25 inches or 3.1 centimeters for the hem facing and square lines to complete. And add your desired sewing allowance. Label the pattern on fold. And label the hem facing. From the bust line, mark down 4 inches or 10 centimeters. And square a line to complete. This is the chest to bust facing. Next, duplicate the pattern for the back. And duplicate the back and front facings. For the sleeve, draw a half T-line. We will draft the sleeve on fold. From the top line, mark down 3 inches or 7.5 centimeters for the cap of the sleeve. And square a line. 
from the angle mark in the armhole measurement that we previously recorded. And square a diagonal line. Divide this line into four sections. Mind you, my measurement is different from yours. At the first half, mark up twigs of an inch or 0.6 centimeter. At the last half, mark down one eighth of an inch or 0.3 centimeter. And draw the cap for the sleeve with a French curve. From the cap, mark down 20 inches or 50 centimeters for the sleeve length. And square a line. The weave is the same measurement as the armhole measurement. So mark this and square a line. Divide the width by 5, creating 5 cutout lines. And cut everything out, making 5 strips or pieces. Next, spread the strips by 2 inches or 5 centimeters in between. Label this part on fold. And from the previous cap line, Mark up 2 inches or 5 centimeters. From this mark, let's redraw the cap. And add your desired sewing allowance. For the sleeve of the camisa, you can either gather the cap or pleat the cap. Next, cut all the self, facings, and sleeve patterns on the fold of your fabric. By the way, before cutting the sleeves, mark at the first strip for the gathering reference. For both back and front self, mark down the hem facing 1.25 inches or 3.1 centimeters. And fold it and press.
Next, face both self pieces right side to right side. Pin in place at the shoulder to prepare for sewing. Sew the shoulder line according to your sewing allowance. And press the seams open for a clean finish. Next, place the facing and self pieces right side to right side and pin in place at the neckline. And sew the neckline accordingly. Next, send or push all of the sewing allowance to the facing side and top stitch by 1 millimeter. And press the neckline for a clean finish. Next, sew the facing and self pieces together at the side seam and at the armhole. At the hem of the sleeves, mark up 3 inches or 7.5 centimeters. And fold and press. This is the hem facing for the sleeve. From the edge, top stitch by 4 eighths of an inch or 1.25 centimeters. So as you can see, I finished the hem facing for the sleeves and I had few pieces of lace trimmings left and I will attach this at the hem of the sleeve. I'll pin the lace trimmings in place in preparation for sewing. Because there's no time for hand sewing and that will take a lot of my time, I will sew the lace trimmings at my sewing machine. After that, I will gather at the cap of the sleeve from notch to notch. After gathering, attach the sleeves to the bodice of the camisette.
Place the sleeve and the bodice right side to right side. Start to pin at the underarm seam from end to end. And sew the sleeve to the bodice according to your sewing allowance. And there you go. Your camisa should also look like this. Next, place again right side to right side and pin at the underarm seam to the side seam. So the side seam from hem facing to the sleeve hem facing from end to end. And this is how your camisa should look like. And yes, the sleeves are bell-shaped and it is meant to be oversized. And to complete off the camisa, sew the hem facing at the bodice. Fold the hem facing and sew by 2 eighths of an inch or 0.6 centimeters from the edge. Et voila! So this is the camisa top. So this is the front view. This is the side and the back view. And this is the sleeve. And as you can see, the sleeve is oversized or boxy. Pleated on the cap and has a shape of a bell.